This week, I'm making a plague doctor mask. As an artist that makes physical things, it can sometimes be hard to create things in any kind of volume. It usually takes me two or three times as long to create two or three of anything. With this particular project, though, I solved this problem with a laser. Uh, at the studio, where I have my workspace, there is a wonderful laser cutter, which sat staring at me and teasing me with possibilities for a couple of weeks before I came up with the idea to make a Plague Doctor mask. Plague Doctor masks are based off of historical costumes worn by medical practitioners during the plagues in Europe. They believed that disease was carried by miasma, or foul odors, and they would wear these masks and stuff the noses full of sweet-smelling cloths to, one, protect themselves from the disease, and, if nothing else, smell a little less of the rot and disgustingness of the pestilence they were dealing with. I like them because they're super creepy, and I wanted to make some for myself. I could have just made one, but I thought that was an awful lot of effort, and I had a laser. Before I start explaining how I made it, I have to apologize for the video. Uh, sometimes, I don't film things very well, and you end up staring at walls. So, I have reenacted my creation of the uh, initial parts of the Plague Doctor Mask, hopefully with uh, adequate accuracy. How I did it was, a uh, process I've seen in a bunch of places is, you make the sculpture of what you're doing, and then coat it in tape, duct tape, I use masking tape. And once you have that shell of tape, you can cut it off along the seams that you want to be the seams of the mask and lay it out on paper. And that gives you a pretty good rough pattern. Where I diverged from what a lot of people do is then I scanned it in and designed the rest of the mask in AutoCAD. That allowed me to put uh, stitching holes, which you need when working with leather, and also put on a flame pattern, which the laser could etch in. Uh, it worked extremely well, and I can now make as many as I want, as long as I have enough cows to make them out of. Stitching them together still takes forever, but they come out really, really nicely, and they smell beautiful, like burning flesh. Don't forget to subscribe!